how to use focus collab hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i will show you how you can use focus collab so make sure you watch the video carefully until the very end in the first step you need to launch any of the browsers that you are currently using in your pc or in your laptop and in the search bar you simply need to type focus collab. once you do this you will be able to find the first link of focus collab dot ipynb so you will have to click on this link and then you will be redirect on this page now over here the first thing that you need to do is to simply connect with the server for that you will have to select it as t4 version and after that you need to click on the connect button now once it turns green it simply means that the connection is established successfully and it will look something like this so once you see these three dots over here you will have to click on the play button and once this will do and what this will do is it will start generating various types of urls and various types of files in your pc this way you will be able to use focus ai with focus collab so over here once it is generating the responses for you you just have to scroll down in this file and try to find the option of running on public url right next to it you will be able to see uh, this link so you will have to click on this link and you will be redirect on focus now over here with the help of this dashboard you will be able to start using focus collab so i'm going to give you all of the options that are available for focus so let's start so over here you will have to click on the advanced tab first in order to access all of its feature as you can see that in the right hand side it has given me all of the features that are available on focus here by default there will be some of the presets like initial realistic icm anime default lighting psi etc so by default it will be on initial so if you keep it on initial it will try to generate some of the realistic images but if you want to generate anime characters or any other type of characters then you can change your settings in the performance you will be able to see quality speed extreme speed and lighting option so by default it will be on speed but if you want to keep it on extreme speed then you can also do this in the aspect ratios you will be able to see various types of aspect ratios and by default it will be on 9 is to 7 but in order to fit it on the frame you can use it the 1 is to 1 frame then you will have the slider of image number so if you use this slider and if you keep it on maximum you will notice that in the one time you can generate maximum 32 images but i won't recommend you to use 32 images as it will reduce the quality of your images so you just have to keep it between 2 to 4 uh, it will be very good for the image um, next we have the option of output format so by default there will be png but if you want to generate the image in jpeg or webb then you can also do it uh, let's say if you want to download the image from here and upload it in your website then you should download the uh, webp version so for this video i'm going to keep it as webp if i click on the style option by default there will be three types of styles will be here but if you want to add more styles then you just have to hover over to the style that you want and it will show you the respective image which will give you an idea what type of image you are going to get so let's say i want to check this one and this one so if you click on the model then it will show you which model it is currently using now if you want to change them then you can click on the draw arrow button and you can start typing the model if you have knowledge about it but i would recommend you to do not change anything over here and or for any reason if you have changed it and now you want to reset it then you will have to click on refresh all files and it will reset the settings if you click on the advanced tab there is not much you can do so you will have to come back to settings now in this message box you can start typing your prompt or you can even paste the parameters over here but before that if i click on the input image option you will notice that here we have five different options with the help of which we can give it image as a prompt and from there we can ask it to generate the images for us we have the upscale and variation option image prompt input and out paint describe and metadata 
so you can also use these tabs in order to generate the images based on the base image that you have so for this video we are going to generate the prompt for that you can either use chat gpt or you can even use jamini ai so for this video i'm going to use jamini ai for that you will have to open a new tab and type jamini google.com this will land you on this website here you just have to use this message box in the bottom uh, and now you will have to just give it a prompt so let's say give me image generative prompt for a beautiful american 25 years old woman so after giving the instruction that you have in your mind it will give you some of the prompts so you just have to copy the prompts from here and you can paste it on focus so let's say i want to copy this over here and i'll come back to focus and i paste it uh, here you will have to click on the generate button and then it will take some time to generate the image for you so you just have to wait for it now as you can see clearly that it has given me these two images and if i make them big i would definitely say that these are looking very realistic but if you are not happy with the results or if you want to change anything then you can use the settings and the styles option and you can modify the prompts as well in order to generate the desired result i'm quite happy with the results that it has given me so if you want to download it then you just have to click on it and after right clicking you just have to click on save image as then you will have to give it your file a name then press the save button second method of downloading is is that you will have to come back to this page and here you will be able to see this little download button so if you click on this download button it will start downloading in the device of yours so you just have to access the generative files from there so this is how you can easily use focus collab so i hope this video was helpful and if it was then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching